bonjour, and happy French Friday to you. So, okay, last week, if you remember, I asked if I should paint my French chairs or not, or leave them as is. And I got the most response back from you to paint them. So that's what I will be doing today. I was having a really hard time deciding. So thank you so much to those of you who left your comments and let me know what, what you thought I should do. I'm so grateful that you did that. Thank you so much. It really helped me to make that decision on what to do with my chairs because I was going back and forth and couldn't decide. So I just left them as is for a while because I was just living with them and trying to make that decision. So you guys helped me make that decision. So thank you again. And we will go ahead and get into the video now. Okay, I've got my second coat on the chair now and it's completely dry. I'm ready to wet distress it now. And if you're not familiar with wet distressing, it's just simply using a wet rag with warm water, nothing else on the rag but water. And it's super easy, super simple way of doing it. It also is uh, so much uh, cleaner way of distressing inside the home since I am working inside my home. I'm not going to be getting the 
the paint dust everywhere like if I were to use a sanding block. So that's what I'm getting ready to do now. It has been in the 90s here in southern Louisiana and very hot and humid. It has also rained every day this uh, week. So that is why I'm painting indoors and I'm sure you can imagine how hot and miserable it is here with having rain every day and being in the 90s. Super, super hot here. So it feels like, well, let's just be honest here, guys. It feels like HE double hockey sticks is what it feels like. So this mama isn't gonna be painting outdoors. This mama paints inside unless I have to spray paint. That is the only time you will see me outside painting. So um, let's go ahead and get started with the wet distressing now. Okay, I have left the caning natural. I think it coordinates with my wood floors nicely. Comment below and let me know what you think. If you hear background noise, I'm traveling to South Carolina while editing this video. I'll be shooting the second part of my parents' tiny home tour. I am excited to share it with you and I know many of you are anxious to see it too. So make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out. with how the chairs turned out. I hope you guys are too. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you will share it, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. 
Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful holiday weekend. Until next time, au revoir.